In this lesson, we're going to cover level of detail representations. A level of detail allows us to suppress components which will turn off their visibility and in turn will also remove them from memory. The file that we're going to utilize for this lesson is called level of detail .iam, and it can be found in your chapter 9 exercise folder. To start off with, in the lower right hand portion of the screen, you'll see that we have some numbers down here and these numbers are telling us something. So the number 19 is telling me the number of occurrences that are currently in this assembly that I have open and the 15 that's telling me the number of open components that I have. As we go back and create level of details and or switch to different levels of details, these numbers will be switching. The bar to the right of the numbers is telling us how much memory is being utilized. In this case, when it's green, that's a very good thing. We have plenty of memory left. When it starts to go yellow, we're probably going to think about creating some level of details. When it's going red, you definitely need to invoke a level of detail. So from the representations folder, and I'm going to expand level of detail, you'll see that there are four levels of detail. These four levels of detail are inherent with every single assembly, so the master is going to have all of our components on. And then we have all components suppressed. And with all components suppressed, you'll see that our number goes down to 0 and 1. And as we kind of scroll through the browser here, you'll see that we have a line through every single component. As I can just move my cursor down there, you'll also see a bounding box that is representative of its size. But also down here with the subassembly that I have, you'll see that I have some information that's only showing me the constraints that are being utilized for that subassembly. If I go back and click on all parts suppressed, so what I have here with this subassembly now, I'm getting some information about the structure of that subassembly. So in this case, I can see that I have two components and I'm also seeing the constraints. So let's scroll back up here. For all content center suppressed, all of the content center files that are stored in the default location for the content center or the named folder in your project are going to be suppressed. So in this case, the bolts that I had, and I also had a pipe plug in here, which was also suppressed. And you'll see that my numbers have switched back down to the number 12 and 13. I'm going to switch back to the master. And you'll see again, now we're back up to 19 and 15. To create a new level of detail, simply right click on level of detail and then select new level of detail and you'll get a default name. You can click in there twice slowly. In this case, I'm just going to type in CBT. And now what I'm going to do is I want to go back and suppress some components. So I'm going to just move my cursor over the component or components that I want holding down the control key. And then from the list, select Suppress. So with it suppressed, again, you'll see a line through it and the icon has changed to a white cube. And also, you'll notice my numbers have changed. Now, at this point, what you want to do is save the file. If you do not save the file, for example, if I'm going to switch back to the master, you're going to get a warning that's telling you that you need to save those changes. If you don't save the changes, the level of detail that you just created will be lost. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on yes. With these level of details, they can also be copied to a design view. So in this case, I just right clicked on my CBT level of detail and I can copy that to a design view representation. Also in this file under the design views, you'll notice that I have a design view called internals. If I right click on that, I can copy that to a level of detail. So once these design views are created, what can we do with them? In this case, I'm going to close out of the file and let's save our changes. When you open up an assembly that has a level of detail on it, you'll notice that we're going to have an option that's going to be available. So in this case, what I want to do is go ahead and select on the level of detail file. But now from the options button, select on that, You'll notice that we have options that are going to be available here. So if you had a positional representation, which we'll cover in another lesson, you could switch to that here. We have also have our design views. In this case, you'll see internals was up there. And down at the bottom is our level of details. So in this case, if I want to start off with everything suppressed, 
all parts suppressed. I'll go ahead and click on that. And you see this is going to be a very fast, very easy way to go back and open up a very large assembly. And then at this point, if you wanted to, you could go back and select a few components, right click, and then uncheck suppress. Can save a lot of time opening up very large assemblies where in the case that you only want to work with a few components. Another thing that we can do with these level of details is when creating drawing views. So in this case, let's start off a new drawing. Now that we have our new drawing, let's go ahead and place in our base view. And you notice when I'm doing this now, I have an option for my level of detail. So in this case, I can switch it right back to the master if I want to see all those components. If you double click in that same view, we can go back and say all content center suppressed.